Good morning everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. I'm in a bit of a rush today, because I need to get to the med school on this Saturday, 7.45, and it is currently 7.41. I am on my way to York to go to a student conference to present some stuff. I'm doing a poster presentation, and I'm doing an oral presentation. And I'm the first student speaker, of course. Currently, my morning has been very rushed because I woke up late, I haven't had breakfast, I haven't had any tea or coffee, and I'm still very tired because I went to sleep late, which is the perfect way to uh, prep yourself for a presentation that you haven't actually practiced <laughs> at all. I haven't done this presentation in literally months. Can someone remind me why people think I'm organized? Because today, certainly not feeling it. first. There's the lecture theatre behind me, that's where I'm going to be standing, my presentation up on these two screens, and hopefully I don't mess it up because I have literally had no practice for any of this yet. Hopefully going through the slides right now so I don't look like a complete moron in front of like 80 people. Round of applause for Perfect, thank you very much. Um, this is supposed to be a 15 minute presentation, but I will attempt to do it in eight. So, uh, my name is Nafi, I'm a medical student at the University of Leeds. This uh, was a project that I did last year as part of my uh, research masters in medicine. So, starting off, my project was all about long COVID. Long COVID is defined by NICE as the persistence or development of symptoms post-infection of SARS-CoV-2, which cannot be explained for any other reason other than COVID. It is characterized with symptoms of breathlessness, fatigue, brain fog, anosmia. And the current theory behind long COVID is that it is a form of dysautonomia, or dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. So, my oral presentation is done. I ended up doing it far too quickly. Uh, it was supposed to be a 15 minute presentation originally, shrunk down to 10, I was told to do it in eight, I ended up doing it in five. So, at least I'm ahead of time. Um, but I think it went smoothly, I think I got a lot of positive feedback. Um, and now, I'm in the room where there are all of the uh, poster presentations. Um, mine is actually right here. This is my poster for the um, publication that I got in The Lancet my one and only publication to date. Um, apparently I need to present this to some judges, but I need to find where these judges are first before I do any of that. So I'm gonna do that, present that, and then I think there are some workshops happening later. No pressure. Have you ever performed a heart transplant before? Not a heart transplant. Good luck then. <laughs> <laughs> so what we can see here is rather than just going through the steps on how to do it, we have put someone into a admittedly very Questionably recreated surgical theatre. Yeah. Can you see what I'm seeing? Yeah, we can yeah, see yeah, exactly yeah, what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> okay. So you reach out. Uh, so just as a point of reference, this is a games-based thing. The, the actual simulators are a lot more it advanced a, than this. <laughs> it has been a bloody while since I started playing Surgeon Simulator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. It's as janky as you remember it being, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the controls are. Uh, so I've got the trigger or the squeeze on the side. Their thumbs. Ah! <laughs> Perfect so, stuff. I just want to point out, I did say in the previous one, most people immediately go for the hammer. Thank you for proving that right. Well, it's because you see, you see a, you see a, like, rib cage. <laughs> and I want to hammer it, of course. Exactly. So the other nice thing about virtual reality is it can be used to weed out psychopaths from the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a heart. That's fine. Uh, 
uh, which one of these? Green. I don't want to stand green. myself. You want, you want green? I want green. Okay, that's blue. Perfect. That's. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't stab myself with that. Cool. Right. Let's just leave that there, grab the hammer, <laughs> and then... There we go. So... Don't worry, it's not dead yet. Oh, oh crap. It's fine. <laughs> I am a surgeon. Because that's just what you want to hear from your surgeon, is it? <laughs> oh crap, it's fine. <laughs> Have you been in a surgical theatre? That's what they're all like. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, they're sort of like this, they me in. <laughs> right. Don't eat ribs. Don't eat ribs. That's a long. Don't eat lungs. Um, yeah, you can survive a one cat, yeah. I'm How are you not around. bleeding? <laughs> Like, this is, I'm just a bit of an adult and throwing that there. Just, just now you ask, you've hammered the rib cage in and now you're asking why they're not bleeding. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> see, he's he's in, look, see, he's in sinus rhythm. <laughs> look. Um, what is that? That is a stomach. Yeah. Uh, uh, get rid of that. Uh, that is my lunch. Um, <laughs> Fine. Is uh, this stuff supposed to just come straight out of the body? No, yeah. 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 Yes, it does. Yes. Right. Um, I am going to... Best yeah, tool to, to cut... The ah, scalpel. Right? That's exactly uh, what I need. Yeah, really, yeah. Right. Quarters, yes. sorry. Not yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if he starts that's dying, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's got a bit of blood loss. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, and cut the box as well, it goes into the stomach as well. I need to what? He's cut right at the top, uh, the longer tube will cut there as well. Ah. Um, I'm going to turn this into a nice curry. <laughs> that place um, this is an esophagus that is now magically disappeared. Um, and now we get to, he's still bleeding, but it's fine. Um, now we, how do I want why have I got a water bottle? No. <laughs> I don't have a water bottle. Because. It's fine. That pen. <laughs> okay, so he's a John Wick in situation. <laughs> okay, but it's fine. He's not. He's alright. One mil of blood loss is okay. You got some more scalpels to your left, by the way. Beautiful. So. I feel like that's not your whole scalpel, but you know. What do I know about medicine? So, are you a first or second unit? Oh, fourth year. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, not do that. Okay. You plan on going into cardio at all? Oh, oh I am. Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any questions while he's operating? Operating. How yeah. realistic can you get it? Like in you know the one they use an actual. That'll be a question for Adam. Adam's a bit more up to date on the software than so I am. You can get it to be very realistic. Currently, there's a lot that can be done, a lot that can't be done. Um, the most realistic one I personally use is a proper simulation on the body. I haven't had access to that. Actually, we've got a murder. Hold on. I mean, look, if I did that to a real human, <laughs> that would be perfectly acceptable. <laughs> well, it was a murder, it was right, a murder. Yeah, that's fine. In, re in real life... Perfectly fine. If in, in real life, if I were to stab someone in an artery, the artery would, you know, rip. I wouldn't have to just perpetually stab him in the heart in the hopes that, you know, he would... Um... So what you're saying is murder is easier than that. <laughs> <laughs> Surgery is easier than that. You don't have to fight control to be like, oh no, why is my scalpel floating? For their work on long COVID again. <laughs> now see if they are. So, turns out I have one best poster which is a nice little surprise, and I get to take it home with me. Um, this has been a pretty nice conference. Um, very glad that I came. And now, I get to go home, back to Leeds, and my taxi leaves in literally a minute. Uh, so I'm gonna head there, so it doesn't leave without me. So, with my poster presentation complete, uh, oral presentation complete, and winning a prize, and I am back on my way home. I think I will end it there. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.